One of the most interesting conditions of circadian rhythm problems is completely blind people. And we know from the 1970s that <clears throat> they may not be able to live on a 24-hour day. And this is because they, with complete blindness, including light that you don't perceive but which still gets through to your brain, in complete blindness, people's internal systems um, do what's called free running. That is, they deviate from 24 hours. Um, and most people deviate longer than 24 hours, so that if you study the circadian rhythms of a blind person, you'll get an average period, not of 24 hours, but of 24.5. This means that every day uh, is 30 minutes different. And every so often you run completely out of phase with the normal 24-hour day. And you want to sleep in the middle of the day, and you wish to be awake in the middle of the night. Um, it's like having jet lag every so often for the rest of your life and nothing you could do about it. And for some people this is really debilitating. And immediately after our jet lag study was published, um, I was phoned up by a blind man called Harry Kennett. Oh, Dr. Arendi said, I see that melatonin can change circadian rhythms. He said, I'm a blind man and I can't live on a 24-hour day. I'm not sure what his exact words were, but uh, essentially he self-diagnosed 24-hour circadian rhythm disorder. Could I have some melatonin? Well, we weren't just going to feed it like sweets. We said, will you do an experiment, please? So we did a placebo-controlled double-blind crossover uh, on this one guy. And... Uh, we did a month on placebo, followed by a month on melatonin, and within four days of switching placebo to melatonin, he rang up and said, it's like night and day. It is like night and day. It's wonderful. At last, I can sleep at the right time. And he was on it for the rest of his life, which was long. Uh, this happened, by the way, it was published in The Lancet, that one, in, in 1988 as a single case report. Um, don't want people to forget about him there. He was a wonderful guy. And in addition to self-diagnosing, he his hobby was sculpture as a blind man. He did animal shapes and heads and just by feel. Quite remarkable. There have been a lot of blind studies of the effect of melatonin since, notably from Louis's group. Um, and from quite a few others. All of them say the same thing, that you can entrain or synchronise a free-running blind person's circadian rhythm to 24 hours with melatonin when they obviously can't use light. And I believe Moorfields Eye Hospital certainly were prescribing it years ago when we were working on this. I hope they still are. Uh, but it's not become a particularly widespread as a treatment, and it should be. It's no point in giving a free-running blind man a standard hypnotic because it doesn't do what melatonin does.